fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PC game tutorial today, and this is actually a YouTube subscriber request. So, Kevin, if you know who you are, uh, this one's for you, buddy. So, what it is basically is we're going to use DOSBox, and he asked for some help on how do you run this old school game, World War II Battles of the South Pacific, in DOSBox, because it's not very clear cut on the website how to do it. So, we're going to do this, and I'm going to show you how to do it from A to Z. So, first thing you want to do is uh, get the game of course so i have a link in the video description if you want to follow along and you go to the website here you click on download and you can download the game and then you're also going to need the manual so we can get past the copyright protection because they ask you for the code to play the, the to play the game basically so go ahead download both of those items i have that on my desktop next what you also need is the dos box program so i'm using windows 10 64 bit and if you go to the main website here you click on windows under download and then what it's going to do is take you to the DOS box, SourceForge, and download the program for you. I already have it downloaded, and I already installed it. So go ahead, download it, and install it if you have not done so already. Okay, once everything's done, we're going to go back to the desktop here. So I have the PDF manual here, and I also have the game in the zip file. So what I'm going to do is first, let's go to my computer. So I'm going to do um, the shortcut key, the Windows key and E for Windows Explorer. Go into my C drive. I'm going to make a new folder. It is purely optional. But this is what I'm going to do to make things simple and easy. So go ahead and follow along if you wish. I'm going to call it DOS Games and press Enter. Let's go ahead and move it to one side of my screen here. Now we go into the zip file. And there's two additional zip files here. World War II-1, World War II-2. Well, actually WW, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and take those zip files, drag and drop it over here into the DOS Games. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click here. I'm using the 7-zip program, so I'm going to say right-click and extract to its own folder, basically. And I'm going to do the same thing with the dash 2 zip file, 7-zip extract to its own dash 2 folder. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete these zip files. I don't really need those right now. And then we're also going to rename these files here. We're going to rename the, the folder, excuse me. We rename the first folder as number 1 and the second folder as number 2. And you'll see the genius behind this a little bit later on. Okay, so we got basically the C drive, DOS games folder, and then we have the folder one and folder two. Now let's go ahead and launch the DOS box program. So I have a shortcut here. And let me just move this in the middle here. So let's do this. So the first thing we wanna do is um, we can mount the hard drive. So let's do that. So we're gonna say mount C, C colon backslash, and then my path, DOS games. And then as a, as a as a tip here, also do this, space dash free size space 10, 24. This eliminates any issues when you try to install the game because it may say, oh, you got tons of space and I don't know what to do and the game craps out. Well, this particular game does. Okay, so that's good. Next thing we wanna do is we're gonna mount this uh, folder, uh, this folder here as a floppy disk, so to speak, and then we're gonna install the game. So we're gonna do mount a, a colon, uh, sorry, mount a c colon backslash DOS games backslash one space um, dash t uh, space um, floppy. Okay, very good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say a colon, and then we're going to write, um, you, you know, you do dir, for example, you'll see that we're actually in the number one directory, and now we just run an install file. Okay, let's do this. So, um, okay, press any key to continue. And we're gonna say both. So install the Sound of Music and World War II program. And we're gonna say the C drive. And we're gonna say the slash WW2, that's fine. And we continue. Um, after a while, I think it's gonna ask you to configure your sound card. So once we get there, we'll do that. And then eventually it's gonna ask you, insert your quote unquote disk two. And I'll show you what that means, how to bypass that in a second. So my particular computer, I just know that um, the Sound Blaster Pro stuff works. So Sound Blaster Pro. And then here's a MIDI driver. So let's go down to Sound Blaster Pro. Um, I think I picked uh, OPL3, hopefully. Let's try that. <laughs> um, it should work, we'll see. And then eventually it's gonna say um, add, you know, 
prompt you for disk two. So what you're going to do basically is over here on the window screen, we're going to rename folder one as folder three, and then we rename folder two, you know, a second disk as folder one, and then we continue. So basically we're tricking the program by, uh, you know, doing this renaming of folders in the background within the Windows environment. So that's a, a neat trick, so to speak. Uh, or is one way to quote unquote swap a floppy disk and the DOS box does not know any better. Now, you can go on Google and go to the main DOS box website or read the, the manual. If the game runs way too fast for your computer, there's, there's different command lines to slow down the CPU cycles. I'm not gonna go over that in this particular tutorial, but I'm just throwing it out there in case if you're curious and you wanna slow the game down a little bit. So this is gonna take a while, it's taking longer than I would have hoped, but uh, hopefully, you know, eventually we'll get there. But in general, DOS games, there's a lot of old school DOS games back in the day. If you wanna take a look, go to that Abandonware website and check out some other games. They got a lot of different DOS games for different genres, of course. Okay, so here we go. It says insert disk 202. So let's go back to Windows here. On here, let's rename folder one as three and folder two as one. And if you're curious how I rename the folder without using the shortcut on my um, mouse, I press the F2 key. That's what I did. Okay, go back to DOS box and press any key. I press enter key and now it's gonna continue. And we're gonna keep on going. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, you know, after this is done, the game is installed. I'll show you how to play the game. And then I'll show you again how to, you know, if you want to play the game again in the future, how would that, you know, how would you do it basically? Um, and I can also make a dedicated tutorial and I probably will because there's like a shortcut method, a desktop shortcut method. And uh, it's going to make this video a little bit longer uh, than usual, but that's okay. And then I'll probably make another follow-up DOS box generic video for guys who want to use, how do I make shortcuts? So like if I want to play Warcraft or Descent or Duke Nukem 3D, um, how can I run shortcuts to these games from my desktop rather than try to type in the DOS box commands all the time and it gets really <laughs> tedious and ir irritating over time. So, so we'll do at the end of this video, we'll do a very quick tutorial on how to make it work for this particular game. And then in the future, I'll probably make another uh, follow-up tutorial on just the shortcut, desktop shortcut method. Okay, I think we're almost there. It's probably taking longer than I hoped because probably because I'm recording the damn thing, but we'll see what happens. Okay, finally. So in reality, it's probably gonna install much quicker. So that's just a heads up. Okay, so now if you wanna play the game, I believe it's WW2. Oh my God, wow, that's loud. Lower down the volume, my ears are aching. Okay, so we're gonna see that it says uh, page number 86. So I apologize for the music, guys. Um, let's go to page number 86. So I press Alt Tab, opened up the manual. And, oh crap, let's see here. 86. At least we know the game's working. Okay, so 86. I apologize how long it's taken. 86, line number seven, word number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And word number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, as. All right, sweet. The music stopped, hopefully. Okay, and then here you can just do whatever you want. You know, you want to do, let me press uh, Alt Enter to go full screen. And hopefully this records correctly. So we're gonna do like, I don't know, whatever. Human versus computer, start, you know, enter your name. Just make up some names here, continue. And this is an old school game. I've only played it a few times here. Uh, but if you wanna learn how to play it more, by all means, check out the Ready manual. Order, and go order. ahead, do whatever you wanna do, go crazy. <laughs> and have a lot of good times here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press Alt Enter. And then I'm just gonna quit this game um, by just clicking this X here. Okay. So how do you do the shortcut method basically? So what I'm going to do real quick here, cause, cause if you run DOS box, you got to type in all these codes again to restart the game. It gets tedious over time. So we're not going to do that. So this is what we're going to do instead. Um, what we're going to do is on your DOS box shortcut here on your desktop, right click, go to properties, 
and there's a target here say open file location and we're gonna go to something called DOSBox 0.74 options bat double click on that file save as and go ahead and save it on your um, we'll save it to the desktop real quick here desktop and we're gonna save it as all files down here desktop and say um, save okay so we're gonna have this configuration file right so we're gonna open double click the configuration file it looks like this then down at the very bottom there's this auto exec right so this is where you type in stuff to make it work so uh, we're gonna say mount C C colon backslash DOS games backslash ww2 and you say C colon and then you say ww2 and you say file save right so those are the same commands that you would type in manually if you went through the regular DOS box shortcut method so now what you do is go ahead right click cut that configuration oh crap so if you go back to it make sure it doesn't say dot conf dot txt it should just be dot conf c o n f okay let's change the file extension we're good so i'm going to control x to cut it i'll go to my local hard drive c drive dos games ww2 right click and paste it here okay so now what you do is right click on your dos box uh, shortcut right click and drag it say create a shortcut here and just press f2 and just we'll just call it ww2 right for simplicity okay um okay I got, of, I got a lot of shortcuts here okay so let me just refresh my desktop okay very good so now we right click the ww2 shortcut go to properties at the very end here we're going to do this so here it's going to be um c o n f space and then in quotes you type in the path the word that that uh, configuration file is so it's going to be c drive c colon backslash dos games backslash ww2 um backslash and then it's going to be um dos box now uh, what did i rename it as crap okay sorry about that guys let me go find it real quick here it's going to be you know what i'm just going to copy and paste this screw this <laughs> do that like that so c colon backslash dos games backslash ww2 backslash the dos box file and then another set of quotations and say okay so now if i did this correctly from memory if i double click on ww2 yeah it's gonna start the game that's what i'm talking about and now we gotta go back through the manual again and find all that crap and then you can start the game again so i'm gonna go ahead press alt enter and oh crap alt alt tab and just quit the game here so that is a very quick tutorial. Uh, it's probably uh, longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. Showing you how to install the game, um, how to mount the game properly so you can install it basically, get your sound drivers working, and then also show you this nifty shortcut method of how you can do this on your desktop. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nifty questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care, bye.